Hello YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Rocha here, and yes, as you guys see, I now have a channel intro. Shout out to my boy, The QC, some of you may know him. He not only has me an intro, he also has me an outro, as you guys will see a bit. QC, shout out to you, my dude. You're awesome. Thanks for the intro and for the outro. Anyway, guys, let's get to this video. I am here to announce my season predictions for the NFL. I, today, will be predicting who will make the playoffs, who will win each division, and who will make and win the Super Bowl. If you guys are ready, let's get this thing started, shall we? Let's start off with the number one seed in the NFC. I am going to go with the Bears. That's right. I have the Chicago Bears making a number one overall seed in the entire NFL. I think the Bears have the capability of going 13 and 3, 12 and 4. I just I like them a lot. I don't I don't get the heat. I don't get it. I don't get the um, reason why people are hate on the Bears. If they they got better, if anything, they didn't get worse. I think the Bears might be the best team in the NFL this year and get the overall number one seed. Next up, the number two seed is the New Orleans Saints. I still think the Saints are a great team. They got a great offense, of course. The Hall of Famer, Drew Brees, Michael Thomas, Alvin Kamara. So I think the Saints will end up getting the number two seed in the NFC. Which brings us to the number three seed, which is, yes, the Philadelphia Eagles. I have the Eagles. Beating out the Cowboys in a close division race and getting number three seed. I think the Eagles might have the best overall team in all the NFL, death-wise, I should say. And I think they will be, uh, be able to beat out the Cowboys and win the division and get the number three seed when in the NFC East. The number four seed is the Los Angeles Rams. No, I did not pick my 49ers here. I think the Rams... We're, are still really good. They're still a Super Bowl contender. Uh, they just re-signed Jared Goff yesterday to a mega deal. That offense is still way too good. Brandon Cooks, Robert Woods, Everett, Gurley, Goff. That defense is aging, but it's still good. I have the Rams winning the NFC West and making a four seed. On to the wild card spots. My number four seed is... The Dallas Cowboys. This team's just too good. I hate to say it, but this team's just too good not to make the damn playoffs. That defense is going to be phenomenal this year. That offense, as of today, Zeke, we signed six years, 90 mil. So they got their boy Zeke back. I think Dallas and Philly can go either way this year. Who's going to win that division? But I got the Dallas Cowboys as the number five seed. And last but certainly not least... The number six seed is the San Francisco 49ers. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I did it. I picked them. I think we're going to be a fully healthy, a good enough team to make the playoffs. We'll be fighting that last seed with the Vikings, the Seahawks, maybe the Panthers, the Falcons. But I think the San Francisco 49ers at 10-6 and six will do enough to make the sixth and final wild card in the NFC. So once again, guys, I got the Bears winning the NFC North. I got the Saints winning the South, Eagles winning the East, and the Rams winning the West with the Cowboys and the 49ers getting the two final wild card spots. All right, let's move on to the AFC. First up, the number one seed is the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs are still a great team, man. That defense got better, in my opinion. It's not that great, but it got better Picked up Tyron Matthew. They traded for Fred uh, for Clark. No, they still got Chandler Jones. But, of course, that offense led by Patrick Mahomes, who could easily win the MVP again this year. You got Tyreek Hill. You got Shady, Demian Williams. Of course, Travis Kelsey. I think the Chiefs will get the number one seed. The number two seed belongs to the New England Patriots. That's right. I still think the Patriots are going to have a great year. You still got Tom Brady, you know, Josh Gordon. If he can stay out of trouble, that's going to be great for them. They still got a good, solid defense. I think the Patriots in that division could easily go 6-0 and in the division this year. I just think the Patriots are still a great team, and we'll get the number two seed. 
the number three seed will be the Houston Texans. That's right. I think the Houston Texans, sorry about that, guys. I think the Houston Texans will end up winning the AFC South. I think, uh, actually, I had the Colts originally winning the AFC South, but with Andrew Luck retiring, I think the Texans will step up. They traded, their, they mortgaged their future for Laramie Tonsum. But I think it will work out for them in the long run. I think he's a great tackle. Duke Johnson, I think, will have a career year. Deshaun Watson, an MVP candidate. Of course, you got Hopkins. You got QT. You got Fuller. You got Stills. So I think the Houston Texans will win the AFC South in the number three seed. And my number four seed is the Brownies. That's right. The Cleveland Browns will win the AFC North and get the number four seed. Uh, this offense is going to be freaking phenomenal. Jarvis Landry, OBJ, Nick Chubb, eventually Kareem Hunt, of course, a, by a guy who, in my opinion, I think will win MVP this year, and that's Baker Mayfield. Of course, that defense, so many turnovers last year, and that defense just got even better. So I think the Browns will win the AFC North and finally come back to the playoffs. All right, moving on to the wild card spots. The first one, the number five seed, is the Los Angeles Chargers. This team's just too damn good not to make the playoffs. Just like same thing with Dallas. I think they could fire KC for the division, but the Chargers, in my opinion, will make the playoffs, and they're gonna go on a run in the playoffs once they're fully healthy. And so, ladies and gentlemen, my surprise pick of the playoffs, the number six seed is. The Jacksonville Jaguars. That's right. I am very high on the Jaguars. If Nick Foles has a good year, that defense, they have a bounce back year. This team is going to be good. They could even fight for the division. They're going to be out teams like the Titans, the Steelers, the Ravens for this final card, final wild card spot. I just think they're going to have a bounce back year and they're going to make the playoffs. So here we go, guys. So now. We are on to playoff matches. So we got, let's start with the NFC. We got Philadelphia and San Francisco 49ers. We got the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Rams. So in our first playoff matchup, let's go to the Rams and the 49ers. Let's go to the Eagles and the 49ers. And I have, hang on, give me a second, guys. I have the, am I going to do it? Am I going to do it? I am not. I have the Philadelphia Eagles beating us. The Philadelphia Eagles are just way too good of a team. I think we're watching the Philly. Give them a good game, but I think the Philadelphia Eagles will beat us. Move on to the division around. Up next, we got the Los Angeles Rams and the Dallas Cowboys. A rematch of the divisional round last year. And I'm going to go with the Dallas Cowboys on this one. I think Dallas will march into Los Angeles. They will revenge the playoff last year. Lost. I, Dallas is such a great team. I think this time Dak will be able to manage this game, pull out the victory in L.A., and move on. So that brings us to... That brings us to Philadelphia and New Orleans. Dallas... No, sorry. Philadelphia... Yeah, Philadelphia, New Orleans, Dallas, and Chicago. Let's start with Bears and Cowboys. I got to go with the Bears here. This is going to be a rematch from the, uh, I believe it's week 15 Thursday night football matchup. I just think the Bears are too good. Dallas is going to Chicago. They're going to have fits. Just like the regular season, they're going to come out with the laws. And the Bears are moving on to the NFC Championship game. Next up, we got Philly and New Orleans. This is a rematch from the NFC Divisional round last year. You know what? Give me the Eagles. That's right. I think the Philadelphia Eagles will march into New Orleans. And this time, just like Dallas went into L.A., I think, uh, I think Philly will march into New Orleans, pick up the victory, Carson Wentz leads his team to the NFC Championship game. So, in the NFC Championship game, we got the Bears. 
We got Dub Bears versus the Eagles. And I got Dub Bears making Super Bowl 54. Chicago will head to Miami and Super Bowl 54. I just think this Bears team is too damn good. Philly is going to march into a cold, cold Chicago day and get their asses beat by the Bears. The Bears revenge their loss from the double doink and the wild card round last year and move on to Miami for, for Super Bowl 54. All right, let's go to the AFC. We got Jacksonville and Houston. We got L.A. and uh, the Browns. This would make, I think this would be a fun two matchups. I'm going to go with an upset here. Give me Jacksonville to beat the Texans. I just think Jacksonville's defense will give the Texans a fit. Nick Foles, we all know what he can do in the playoffs. Of course, leading the Eagles to the Super Bowl against the Patriots. I think Jacksonville goes into Houston and gets the upset. Next up, we got Chicago in L.A. Chicago being the higher seed. Uh, sorry. Cleveland being the higher seed takes the L here. I think the Chargers, once they get to the playoffs, fully healthy. They're going to make a run. They're going to be a great team. I think Chicago is too young, a little too inexperienced. And I think Phillip Rivers marches into Cleveland and picks up the victory. Which gives us KC and Jacksonville, Los Angeles, and New England. So... Without further ado, we will... Uh, hold on, give me a second. Let's start with LA and New England. Who am I going to go here with? Sorry, Patriot fans, but your run's over. Give me the Chargers. Like I said, I think they're going to make a run once they get into the playoffs. And the Chargers will move on to the AFC Championship game. I just think this team's too good not to make a run this year. This defense is great. By this time, they will have uh, Duran James back. Got Melvin Ingram. You got Jerry Bosa on that defense. Of course, Phillip Rivers, Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, Hunter Henry, Austin Eckler, or Melvin Gordon, whoever. I think the Chargers go into New England and finally get their demons and beat the Patriots. So next up. We travel to Kansas City for Jacksonville and Kansas City. A rematch from week one of this season this Sunday. Am I going to do it? Is Jacksonville going to go into Kansas City? Are they going to upset the Chiefs? Nah. Kansas City will beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. And we will have a all AFC West showdown for the AFC Championship. So. Now, in the AFC Championship, we got the Los Angeles Chargers versus the Kansas City Chiefs. This will be a really fun weekend if we got Bears, Eagles, Chargers, Kansas City. Who am I going to go with here? Where to go with the Los Angeles Chargers? Moving on to Miami to take on the Bears and Super Bowl 54. I just think, like I said, the Chargers are too good of a team. Once that playoffs roll around with what they have, I think they march into Kansas City. Once again, Kansas City and um, Reed cannot get the job done. And the Los Angeles Chargers move on to Super Bowl 54 to take on the Bears in Miami. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are now on to Super Bowl 54. We got the NFC champions, Chicago Bears. The AFC champion, Los Angeles Chargers. This would be an absolute fun matchup. You got that great defense going up a great, a great, a great offense. Both these teams have great defenses. This would be a fun defensive matchup, unlike last year's Super Bowl. I think this would be a great defensive matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, your Super Bowl 54 ch champions is the Los Angeles Chargers. That's right. I think the Chargers, Phillip Rivers, finally gets his ring, cements his legacy into the Football Hall of Fame, and the Los Angeles Chargers get their first Super Bowl in franchise history. Like I said, I just think once it gets to the playoffs and they're fully healthy, the Chargers are going to take a massive run. 
Philip Rivers is going to defy his demons. That defense is going to step up. People like Duran James and the Los Angeles Chargers are your Super Bowl 54 champions. Philip Rivers is your Super Bowl 54 MVP. And with or without Melvin Gordon, the Los Angeles Chargers will make a run in these playoffs and go all the way. So there you go, guys. That is my before the season predictions of who's going to make the playoffs, who's going to go to the Super Bowl. Let me know down below in the comments, guys. Who do you think is making the playoffs? Who do you think is going to be your – who? let me know your Super Bowl 54 matchup and who you think is winning Super Bowl 54. Do you think I'm crazy in having the Chargers go all the way? I think you guys do. What are you guys' thoughts about my uh, having Jacksonville go to the divisional round? So let me know, guys. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Hit that uh, sub button. Hit that notification bell. Appreciate you guys stopping by watching this video. Tomorrow starts football, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are as hyped as I am. Let's have a good 2019 NFL season. And I will see you guys Sunday. Peace.